We continue to follow breaking news tonight. We now know one of the three finalists for the next police chief of Syracuse. It's the first out of town name we've heard in the search and it didn't come out of City Hall. This is Kenton Buckner, currently the police chief in Little Rock, Arkansas. The president of the Little Rock Fraternal Order of Police confirms he's been told that Buckner is one of the three people still in the running to be the next leader of the Syracuse Police Department. We have team coverage of this for you tonight. Our Dan Massinio has more out of City Hall with the mayor has to say about the status of the search for the next chief. And our Tommy Sladek explores Kenton Buckner's background tonight. Tommy joins us live from downtown Syracuse to begin our team coverage. Tommy. Yeah, Little Rock Police Union President John Gilchrist says Buckner called him earlier this week to tell him that he is a top three finalist for the Syracuse police chief position. Now, the union president in Little Rock tells me he would be sad to see him go. He calls him an effective leader and says he's helped reduce crime there. But Buckner has faced controversy during his time leading the Little Rock Department. The Little Rock Black, Black Police Officers Association has made complaints about Buckner questioning decisions made in the police department and alleged racial discrimination. Gilchrist says he believes this is only a small fraction of the department's 600 officers. I don't think necessarily it's the, the Black Police Officer Association, but a faction within that organization. And it's a very small faction of individuals in there. Uh, they, uh, 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 Chief Buckner does not see things uh, black and white by race. Uh, he, he's personally told me that uh, when he came to Little Rock, He's had to think more about race than any other time in his life. And we just recently got in touch with Buckner here within the last hour, and he says that from his understanding, he is one of three uh, uh, finalists for this position. We'll hear from him more coming up tonight at 10 and 11. Live in downtown Syracuse, I'm Tommy Slater. We'll stay on that story, Tommy. 